planting couldn't be more important. I think that the, we, we know the science is telling us that climate change will disproportionately affect Africa. Africans will face extreme temperature uh, effects. We're already seeing weather patterns that are extreme in the drought and in the rain and floods. And Africa also stands the least chance of adapting. We don't have the technology and the resources that most countries have in the West. So we must be most concerned and we must start where we know we have a lot of potential. Africa has a lot of people and we can put a lot of trees in the ground. The potential for restoration through tree planting is great. Potential for restoration through natural regeneration is equally great because we know that the role of forests in sustaining our water supplies, in ensuring our, our weather patterns stay secure, and in therefore securing our food supply is critical. I mean, there's also this whole energy sector that is so heavily reliant on fuel wood and charcoal. We need to be able to think about if 80% of our populations are relying on firewood and charcoal for cooking and heating, and that is expected to continue for the next 50, 60 years, what is the national agenda, the energy agenda for that kind of energy demand so that we can make sure that we're not depleting our forests for energy? You know, the World Future Council's focus on policy is so important because the truth of the matter is in any place, whatever issue we're dealing with, unless the policy agenda is superimposed with the action, it's very difficult to make things happen. Our, our forests are, are governed and managed by the government, and so we have to work very much in concert. The extent to which that happens is also the extent to which we are successful.